main character, Junichi Tachibana, had a date on Christmas Eve. But in the end, she never came. This left Junichi's heart broken and he developed a fear of always getting rejected. But now that two years have passed, he meets many girls that he would love to go out with. The reason why I didn't mention the main heroine is because this anime is an adaptation of a visual novel. You can also think of it as a dating sim. And that's exactly why there is not just one girl, and oddly enough, this anime isn't a harem either. You can think of it as a romance anime where everyone wins. Figure. And gaming always becomes his ultimate escape. Of course, he also takes pride in his gaming abilities. But then one day, all of his top scores in a game gets topped by the student council vice president, Kyoro Yukihime. If that weren't all, she also invites him to the student council lodge and explains to him an insane program called Brain Burst. It's some kind of brain power booster you'll find out more about in the anime. Okay, so she explains this program to him and then asks for his help, as she wants to find out the reason why this insane program was created. And that's how the iconic duo comes together. <laughs> This is the story of a piano prodigy, Kosei Arima, and a beautiful violinist, Kaori. One still can't let go of his past, and the other hides her tremendous amount of pain with a beautiful smile. This is a very deep anime, and if you for some reason haven't watched it yet, then you will gravely miss out. Missing out on crying, that is. <laughs> Average life, little does he know that his everyday happy and normal life would soon be the thing of the past. Anyways, his only major concern is the most popular girl in the entire school, also known as the school's princess, Ayaka Kagari, who is loved by both girls and boys alike. She rides the same school bus as him, and if there is ever a slightest hint of him interacting with her, her fan club comes in and makes sure that he never dares to even look at her ever again. Now, here's where it gets interesting. One normal day, while he was taking out the trash, he looks up only to see the entire building falling right on top of him. And the one who comes in and saves him is the school princess herself. <laughs> His name is Ikari Tsutsui, and as I said, he is an otaku, he is socially awkward and gets criticized a lot by his classmates, simply because he is too into anime and video games. His only friend is a gamer who wears cat ears for some reason, but then, one day, he meets a girl named Irohara Igarashi. He decides to stay clear of her, just because he never heard any good things about her, and also because unlike him, she's pretty popular. And thus begins the unusual and awkward love story of an otaku nerd and an infamous popular girl. <laughs> Alright, his pessimistic attitude towards life and the way he deals with problems lead him to become the most favorite slice of life anime protagonist of my anime list. There's also a lot of competition for the best girl in this anime, and now that the final season is going on, we are sure to see a waifu war. So if you haven't picked this anime up yet, for whatever reason, now might be the time. So, so.